Alan here. Wanted to talk a little bit about water when you're out in the woods. We can't survive very long without water. And so it's an important thing that you need to be aware of. And if you get trapped out in the woods without a water supply, you know, things you can do, if you can find running water like behind me, that is great. And faster the water is running, the better. If you find stagnant water that's not running, there's a higher risk of germs and things, and it's gonna to need to have more purification. We got a little bit of rain coming right now. Rain is wonderful. If you can catch rain water, that's gonna be safe to drink. Now, if you don't have a purification tablets or some of the new purification straws or little pouches, there's a lot of different tools out there these days which I do recommend you have one in your kit. That saves you a lot of other troubles. But if you don't have anything, hopefully you at least have a way to boil water. That's the oldest and it's the, one of the best ways that you can make water safe to drink. Boil out the, and you need to get it in a rolling boil. It needs to be bubbling and boiling for a couple minutes. Now, if you got salt water or urine, you know, you might read that, you know, drink salt water, drink urine to keep you alive, no. Don't drink those. They need to be distilled first. And that means, you know, if you need a distill uh, distillery or you need to boil it where it turns to steam and you need a way to catch that and then cool it back off into water. And that will boil out and distill the impurities that can make you sick and hurt you. So the best things you can do, be prepared and take water with you. And now if you're driving, you got a way to have a lot of water. Hiking, you know, there's different ways to carry water. Next best, have water purification tablets. Have a purification straw, one of the devices that will purify water. Next, make sure you have something, whether it's a canteen cup and a sterno or a little tin, something that you can boil water. Okay, so have something with you that will satisfy the liquid needs that you need. Now, another thing, if you're short on water, you want to preserve and not work up a sweat. And so you need to preserve your water and do things that you're not going to need the extra water to drink. So that's just a really quick little safety survival lesson about water. There's a lot more on surviveanddefend.com. Got longer articles, different things there, all about surviving in the woods, as well as being safe and defending yourself wherever you happen to be. So visit surviveanddefend.com. If you're already there, thank you, I appreciate it. If you're not there, what are you waiting for?